Now that we're making content for YouTube on a weekly basis, we are out of storage. In fact, I've had to resort to doing the very cringy YouTuber thing of putting my archive projects on these external SSDs. Now this is not a reliable, scalable, or just good solution for long-term video storage, which is why we have this, the all new HL15 from 45 drives. And for those of you wondering, this is the chassis plus PSU variant because in an upcoming video, we're going to do a complete build guide in this chassis at the $2,500 price point. $500 more than their pre-built option to see how much more bang for our buck we can get. Spoiler, it's a lot more bang. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. But in this video, we're gonna unbox and review the HL15. Let's get into it. Now, ever since Petabyte Project, I have always wanted a 45 drives server. But right about that time, they stopped selling chassis directly, which has now changed with the HL15. Now, I'm a little bit concerned because on the side of it, it does say black and I ordered the white variant. So we'll just have to see if uh, they ended up sending us the, uh, the wrong one that I ordered. Uh, if they did though, we'll get to take a look at both, uh, both variants. So that won't be too bad. Awesome. Oh, looks like it is white. Sweet. All right, so we have some documentation here. One of the things that's really cool about 45 drives is they are definitely building professional grade chassis, but there's just something about them that feels DIY. Now let's go ahead and take out our accessory tray. We'll look at that in a second. And then there's our beautiful white HL15. is oh that looks gorgeous i've worked with other chassis i star usa there's just there's just no comparison even just the immediate immediate appearance and i'm excited to get this guy open let's get all the packaging off of her first would you look at that really nice powder coating feels like really Really nice steel. A little bit of dust, but I think that's all from the packing material. I've actually never opened a 45 drives chassis, so I think you pop these on the front open, that's my guess. And this, yep, so these come off, right? Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's awesome. Just first impression, I've, I have an iStar USA chassis as well, and the top is more bendy on the iStar. This is just thicker steel. This is more expensive by about ah, uh, $200, but you definitely get your money's worth. In here we have our drive bay and the back plane. Now, one of the things that 45 Drives is known for is their high quality back planes, which may not seem like a big deal, but I can tell you having built servers and other chassis, back plane is a big deal because if you have any sort of disconnection in your back plane, it can cause drive issues. And you know, all it takes is once every six months for that to happen, for it to be a major frustration point. And if that's time with a drive failure, well, you're kind of screwed. But just the build quality, I am impressed. Again, this is my first time interacting with a 45 drive server. I've worked with Dell, HP. Uh, this is very high quality build. We got our classic button here in the back. I've seen those buttons used in a lot of other things, not just servers. Uh, our Corsair power supply, not the best power supply, but really it's a great bang for the buck. And then we have enough room in here, just barely enough for our ATX motherboard. Of course, they include all the cables. A lot of folks are swapping out these fans for Nactuas. Uh, we might do that. Uh, we're trying to keep it uh, under that $2,500 price point for our build. So for now, we're gonna leave them unless they get too loud. Uh, the one knock on this case that I've heard other people complain about and I must concur with is the fact that we uh, these are punch out uh, PCI uh, doodads. Um, you can't put them back in once you pull them out, which kind of sucks in case you're going to be, you know, playing with things or changing things. Uh, one of the things I do want to test is if I pick this up without the lid on, yep, there's no, there's not a whole lot of flex. Uh, with a lot of cheaper chassis, there'll be flex. And uh, overall, I am very happy with what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm really excited to build in this guy. You know, having a reliable chassis is really important for the quality in the, of the build. And just maintaining, having reliability, right? I, I'm not gonna feel bad about putting production data on this because we're gonna be putting our videos on here that are in production and uh, we wanna make sure that we're not gonna have any issues with our workflow. 
One of the things I really like about this server is the lack of caddies. Elon always says the best part is no part, and 45 Drives certainly adopts that philosophy with designing anything that they make, really. And I have right here a 20 terabyte Seagate Enterprise capacity drive. We actually have six of these that we're gonna put in this server for a total capacity of 120 terabytes for all. And that means we can actually scale this server up to 300 terabytes of raw storage in a 4U configuration, which is pretty insane. And we could actually get more if we got a different chassis. Now, that means that we're going to have a quarter petabyte after our formatting configuration, which is, it's insane how cost effective that high amount of capacity really is nowadays. And it's crazy to think that I'm holding 20 terabytes in my hand. Wow. It's tight, uh, especially because these are pretty tall platters, but it fits like a glove actually. And yeah, that's, that's not going anywhere. So there's definitely, or I think that's intentionally tight probably to control some of the vibration that um, the drives might have. Now that we've got the chassis unboxed, let's take a look at the accessory. Now again, I ordered the uh, PSU plus uh, cables variant. Some screws and hardware are nice and thick. You know, 45 drives, you guys definitely didn't cheap out on the, uh, the PSU cable. That's a nice thick one. And all of our accessory PSU, and I believe we have SATA cables as well. And then these are brackets. I believe these are ears. Yeah, these are ears, although these are pretty thick. I still wouldn't recommend mounting this on ears. I mean, maybe you could get away with it, but we actually got rails. As much as I don't want to, let's set this aside so we can unbox our rails. All right, we got the rails. Uh, fairly priced, I'll say. Now, who cares about server rails? If you've ever worked with server rails, you certainly do care how they're built. Um, this feels like a knock on iStar, but the iStar rails that I had with my last server, uh, they, they weren't great. Uh, they had to be assembled in multiple pieces. The best rails I have ever seen are actually made by Apple, surprisingly, on their Rack Not Mac Pro. And I've not seen anyone unbox these rails yet, so I'm curious if they need assembly or if they're pretty intuitive. Hopefully they're intuitive, which means less cuts, less injuries, and just easier to work with. Yep, here we go. Here's our two rails. Okay, first impression is that it's a solid rail set. So if you can see that, no assembly, which is awesome, other than actually mounting them on the side of the server. Not sure what these do just yet. Hope that's not important. I definitely recommend checking your packaging. I just make sure there's no loose screws because this bag looks like, uh, yeah, had a hole in it. So. This is everything that comes with the rails. Let's go ahead and open one of them up, which actually we don't need the blade because it's already open. Now, I do recommend wearing gloves when you work with rails. Uh, I'm not going to because it's been long enough that I haven't injured myself that I forgot how painful it is when you get a rail cut. And there we have it. There are our rails. Let's see how far out that extends. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that should be really easy to install on our rack. There's our release. Keep my fingers crossed. There we go. Oh, and if you can see right there, there's that pin there. There we go. That's awesome. Yeah, I, honestly, I've paid more for rails that suck a lot. And these were, I believe, $75. Just really good price. You know, 45 drives, their chassis is definitely a lot more expensive than some that you can get on Amazon. Or even, frankly, this server is going to be more expensive than something like a used uh, Dell EMC server. But you definitely get what you pay for. Uh, and so far, my impression of the chassis and the rails is phenomenal. And I'm excited to see what feedback I'm able to you know, kind of give on this as I get more experience using it. I'm really excited about not having to deal with sleds. Sleds suck. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you going to pick up the HL15 and are you going to watch our build guide? What do you think we're going to do for the $2,500 price point? And what OS do you think we're going to put on it? I'll give you a hint. It's not on RAID. So comment down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.